Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create a slideshow video using overlays in FlexClip, a cloud-based video creation app with which you can create different types of videos using pre-made video templates or create videos from scratch. So I'm logged into my FlexClip account. I'm in the dashboard area. Click on this create video button in the top left corner. On this page, first you need to choose the aspect ratio. I'll go over the default 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Next, I'll stick with the default timeline mode and then click Get Started. It will open the FlexClip video editor. Let me close this Import Media dialog box. So, we are currently in the Templates tab. Down below is a timeline which has one default blank scene. So, first, let's create a title scene. In the left side panel, I'll go to the Video tab. And in the background section, I'll click on See All. It'll display the videos in this section. Let me scroll down. I'll hover my mouse over this one. And then click this plus button. The video will be added to the scene. Now, this video is too long. So, I'll adjust the duration. To four seconds using this little box. I'll use this slider to zoom in the timeline below. Next, in the left side panel, I'll go to the text tab, and in this basic text section, I'll click this text and it'll be added to the scene like so. I'll double click on this text, and in this section, I'll edit the text to read. Ontario, Canada, like so. Next, I'll change the font in the toolbar up top to a handwritten one. I'll go with this Great Wipes one, like so. And then I'll adjust the size using the handles, like so. Next, in the toolbar up top, I'll click on Motion. And in this left side panel, I'll go to the In tab and choose this one, Glossy Blur Animation. Now, this animation is a bit too fast, so I'll just slow it down to 0 0.5 using the slider. Let's take a quick preview of this scene. Next, I'll click on this plus button in the timeline below to add a new scene to our slideshow. In the left side panel, I'll go to the Photo tab, and using the search box, I'll search for the word Toronto, and it displays royalty-free images of Toronto pictures. I'll hover my mouse over this one, and then click on this plus button, and it'll be added to the current scene. In this left side panel, I'll go to the Overlays tab, and in the Effect Overlays section, I'll click on See All. There are many different cool animation overlays here. I'll choose this one, and then it'll be added to the current scene. Let's take a quick preview of the second scene with the image and overlays, and as you can see, that looks pretty cool. Next, I'll right click on the second scene and then choose Duplicate. In the left side panel, I'll go to the Photo tab, and from this section, let me add this picture to the scene. So I'll drag and drop it onto the scene, like so. Let's take a quick preview of this new scene that we just added. So I used the same process as I showed you earlier and went ahead and added several more Ontario pictures to the video project. As you can see in the timeline below, I've got 11 scenes here. Let's add one final scene. I'll right-click on this first scene and then choose Duplicate. And then I'll move the scene to the end by dragging and dropping it like so. I'll click on this text box and then delete it. Next, in the left side panel, I'll go to the Overlays tab and click on this back link. 
And in this section, I'll go to the logo overlay section. I'll click see all. And from these overlays, I'll choose this one. And it'll be added to the scene like so. In the left side panel, I'll go to the media tab. I'll click on local files to import my image. I'll navigate to my folder and I'll choose my logo image and then click open. And here is the image. Next, I'll drag and drop the logo image onto the logo placeholder. I'll double click on the first text and then edit it to read how to. In the top toolbar, I'll click on the font drop down. And then in this search box, I'll search for a specific font and then I'll apply it to the text box like so. I'll do the same for the second text box that is edit the text and then change the font like so. Let me just adjust the size of the text in the logo image. And let's take a final preview of the scene. Once you're happy with the project, it's time to export it. To do so, click on the export button in the top right corner. Choose a video resolution. I'll go with 720p and then click the export button. It will then begin the export process. Now the time it takes to render the video will depend on the length of the project and the assets used. This one rendered in about a minute and it will be downloaded to your browser. You can take a look at the slideshow video to see how it came out. I made a few minor adjustments. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.